Welcome back. You're watching Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18. Let's talk about the tech giant Google. Shares of Alphabet closed higher on Wall Street after investors digested a slate of new AI offerings that were unveiled at Google's developer conference. Among the offerings are new AI-based search tools and a new Gemini model that they call Project Astra, which Google hopes will soon become a universal AI assistant for users. Ashmit is here to give us more details on this. Ashmit. Well, I'm coming to you from Mountain View, California. I'm at the site of the Google campus, at the site of the Google I.O. 2024. Sundar Pichai and his team had promised some breakthrough announcements. They've made a few of them. Uh, we'll take our viewers through them one by one. The biggest announcement, of course, was uh, uh, Vio. This is uh, the new AI generative tool uh, that was announced today. This, what this does is that it turns textual prompts into videos. Now, what's important is that this comes on the close on the heels of OpenAI's Sora, and that had created huge tidal wave, so to speak, as far as the content creation space is concerned. What can this do? This, this tool of generative AI turning textual prompts into videos, uh, videos being generated, Vue generates videos to the tune of 1080p. These are high resolution videos we're talking about. Uh, what does this mean? There were talk of how this may revolutionize the content creation space, the media industry and production houses going forward. Uh, that was just one announcement. The other, of course, was integration of Gemini with Google Search. Uh, this, Google says, will help customize, curate results as per the individual needs of users. So whether you want to plan an itinerary for a trip that you may want to go to, or whether you're looking for a restaurant based on certain budget considerations, uh, this uh, product will do that for you. First available in the US and then subsequently in the rest of the world. There is also talk, there was one of the announcements made, was integration of Gemini with Android. This again will help uh, improve your Android experience, at least that's what they're pitching it as, uh, that whether you want to summarize a video, whether you want to draw inputs uh, from a PDF file, that can be done via this customization between Gemini as well as uh, Android. And finally, on the question of deepfakes, etc., that is one issue uh, where they have spoken about open sourcing of watermarking. This watermarking of uh, uh, synthetically generated content is something that has been long been spoken of in terms of addressing issues of deepfakes and misleading information. So important directions being given by Google on the way forward. Okay, Ashwin, thank you so much for bringing us all those details.